All right, we can also have um, tables of probability where the numbers that are in the table are the probabilities themselves rather than the number of things that are happening, like you saw in the previous video. Um, so we could have something like this, where we've got 400 people surveyed, they're asked if they prefer Coke or Pepsi, and then whether they prefer Snickers or Mars, and we get this table like this, with our totals column. Now, since we are talking about probabilities going in there, then we know that our totals have to add up to 1. Or if you were doing it in percentages, it would add up to 100%. So we're going to put the probabilities of these things into the boxes, not the number of people that said which one they preferred. So they are going to look like this. So we've got a 0.2 probability that uh, the person said that they prefer Coke and they prefer Snickers, for example. You do the same things with your totals of adding up, so that 0.2 plus 0.37 is 0.57 for our total probability for Snickers, and so on with the Mars, and the Coke, and the Pepsi. Okay, then we could have some questions like this. What's the probability that a randomly selected person prefers Coke and Mars? So you're going to read across the row for Coke and down the column for Mars and where they come together, there's your answer. We've got a 0.08 or 8% chance of a randomly selected person having chosen Coke and Mars. Okay, so how many people then said that they preferred Coke and Mars? So we've got this 0.08 chance We've got 400 people that were surveyed, so we need to find the 0 0.08 as a proportion of 400, and that means we multiply. So that's going to be 32 people in this group that were surveyed said that they preferred Coke and they preferred Mars. You can do this for anything on that table, so you might want to pick out um, the number of people that preferred Snickers overall total, uh, the number of people that preferred Snickers and Pepsi, um, the probability that they preferred Pepsi and Mars, those sorts of things. You could be asked all sorts of questions um, about this table. You might also be given blanks to fill in um, like you did on the previous ones and it works in just the same way as the last video we looked at. The only difference is it's being expressed as probabilities rather than actual numbers of people.